Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah. Koholim la Yahawa, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rechachotash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Right? So, just a, uh, another one of those lessons, man, or, you know, we have to uh, pinpoint Esau, which is the biblical name for the so-called white man, and that um, he is that man of sin, um, the son of perdition, that's uh, spoken of in um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and this man is vicious as hell, bro. <laughs> just imagine when he had us in slavery, when you see stories like this, and why don't we see this on the, on the um, you know, national news? It says Indiana father accused of killing his newborn kids, burning bodies in backyard, made a necklace out of the ashes. So why don't why don't you hear about stuff like this? You know what I'm saying? There's no way that I should have, you know, just found this 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 um, particular article or this particular story by just scrolling through a news break app. I should have seen this on my on my fucking TV. This should have been, you know, uh, uh, out here like damn Diddy, <laughs> the Diddler, man. <laughs> but but hey, Esau got a way of trying to keep their things under wrap because they don't want people to really see them for who they really are. That's the reason why a lot of these heinous crimes that they commit, they just don't they don't they don't push them out there like that. That's like um the sheriff that shot and deleted the judge. You don't, you don't hear nothing about that shit. You know, it, it didn't hit national news like that. You know, it's a lot of stories, man. Where I be looking, they're like, damn, how do we? Why do we not hear about this? Why, why isn't this not news? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get some of it. Stephen Val, or Val, if I'm pronouncing the name right, Valley, or whatever the hell. The Indiana father accused of killing his newborn kids by burning their bodies in the backyard, allegedly revealed to authorities that he had created necklaces out of the children's ashes. Authorities began investigating Val, 31, and Samantha Sabella, 25, on September 20th, when Valet... Val, or whatever, I'm probably pronouncing the dude's name, I don't give a fuck anyway, Slocky. Allegedly confessed to friends about killing two undocumented children, burning their bodies in their backyard fire pit. Uh, Val and Sabella initially told police they had no knowledge of any children being burned in a fire pit. However, upon further investigation, authorities uncovered a series of horrifying text messages between the couple confirming the death of several children. On September 30th, police brought cadaver dogs to the residence who then flagged the fire pit and piles of ashes near the gar near the garage, prompting investigators to excavate part of the backyard with shovels and uncovering the bone fragments. See? Damn Edomites, man. The children had, b had been buried for about three to five years before Vol dug them up and burned them in a fire pit. Wow. <laughs> An affidavit allegedly states that Stephen admitted to keeping some of the ashes to create a necklace as a memento. Hey, that's pretty much it they're looking like, huh? Oh, whoa. Let's check out some of these comments. Well, matter of fact, let's just get the scriptures, man. We don't even need to, you know, go all off into that, man. We know um, Esau is savage as hell, man. And that's the reason why. We tell our people, hey, you be very careful out here. Matter of fact, let's get that first. Let's get um, Ephesians 5 and 15. Because see with this election that's rolling around, they already have that hatred, that perpetual hatred for you Jakes, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And, you know, this election is going to bring a lot. You're going to see a lot of serious hatred that's going to pour out of these people that they've always had. They've just been kind of... um. You know, uh, uh, you know, holding it back, you know, but with this, this guy, Trump, ain't no telling what will happen with these people. But my thing is, is if you have to go to the areas that, uh, you know, the shop, you know, your Walmarts or, you know, areas where they pretty much are in numbers. Just go and do that shit early. The scriptures talks about um, getting up B time, handling your business and getting back home. Roughly paraphrasing. Go ahead and handle that stuff, man. Don't be all these uh, fucked them baseball games, fucked them football games, fucked them basketball. All that going to places where they're in numbers and they get drinks in their system. Hey, look, you don't want to be around people like that, man. Because these damn Edomites, they get some numbers on you and they get them drinks in them system. And they see you by yourself, especially you women. 
your so-called black women because they looking at you like really you're the, they know who who's the one that's really going out here voting for people like joe biden <laughs> but, but they have that hatred man so you know and it's not just about the election they're just in a they're 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 riled up anyway you have to just be careful when you're going to areas where these people are at because look at how they man they, these motherfuckers shooting up schools they doing mass stabbings you know what I'm saying? Oh, you you didn't have a few um decapitations. A uh, couple of guys, a couple of these Edomites done decapitated their parents and the dog. Like, why don't you hear about stuff like that in the news, man? That's why we we do these lessons to warn the flock. Y'all gotta be you know be careful, walk circumspectly. That's what um Ephesians five and fifteen. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's some very wicked shit to do. This motherfucker dug them back up. <laughs> you know, and they texting about the shit. Just stupid as hell, you know? So, matter of fact, though, let's get that one. Um, 2 Thessalonians, I quoted. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that man of sin, the son of perdition, is Esau Edom. He's the progenitor of the so-called white race. That man became a nation. That nation is running the world right now. They're lawless as hell, you know. And then they want to act as if they're all righteous. You know, they they, they stole the whole continent, rape, robbed, and pillaged everybody, and then set up court systems and, and, and acting as if they can give you justice. See? So you have to be very, very um careful, um, you know, with this man. But it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? The coming of the Lord. Yahweh Shai. Which the world eagerly calls Jesus. And the Lord is not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. The Lord don't look like this guy right here. See? If this guy were to grow it, grow some hair, you know what I'm saying? And down to his shoulders or some shit, he could easily play a, a, a white Jesus in a movie, man. Easily. Easily. And our people believe that there's a so called white man that's coming back that look like this guy that's gonna be saving them. And that's not the truth, man. It's just, that's, and nothing can be further from the truth. Like, for real, these people are vicious as hell. They've always been vicious to, to us. And they're not saying what, um, you know, race these children may have been. Um, it's not even saying if the kids were even theirs. You know, so, you know. It is what it is, man. Matter of fact, let's see, let's see, let's see if we can do a little, little bit more um, research here. Let me just, let's just, it's a lot. Let's see what uh, get old AI got to say, got to say. Well, it's looking official. With law and crime. Oh yeah, man. He, hey, these some vicious bastards, man. And you know, you you had these. What not? That had nothing to do with me. Hey, we don't give a shit, bro. Oh well. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Cause they're not. They're, damn, it just shot straight too. They're not giving you a whole lot of information here. Uh. Okay, all right. So they're giving a little bit more here. Stephen Ball, 31, and Samantha Sabella, 25, are facing charges of murder, neglect of a um, dependent causing death, abuse of a corpse, and failure to report a dead body. The Jasper County Sheriff's Office said deputies began investigating, okay, after one couple, one of the couple's friends contacted the agency about Ball confiding in him, I killed my two kids. Okay, so all right. So it's saying... All right, so these are their kids. Well, how would no, how would they, you know, nobody not know that the damn kids is missing? It says when the friend inquired further, Val allegedly said they had smothered their firstborn, but had drowned the secondborn and burnt their bodies in the fire pit in their house. So was they twins? What the fuck is going on here? Cops refer to the dead children as undocumented, meaning they were born at home and never received any documentation like a birth certificate, social security number, and the like. Okay, all right, all right. Detectives found Vaughn and Sabella at the hotel in Newton County. They denied any knowledge, but cops took their phones as evidence. Meanwhile, a third undocumented child was removed from their custody. So they just, hey, so you know these are Edomites, man. They just at the crib just having babies. And, and matter of fact, 
I would assume that that's legal, but they don't, uh, you know, I, I don't see why you can't have an at-home childbirth and not notify Esau about it. But Esau wanted to know. <laughs> he wants to know. Right? Because you already know, so-called black people, man, uh, that, that shit not going down. You're not, somebody going to tell, oh, you had a baby, oh, somebody, somebody going to know something. Girl, you ain't going to put them kids in school. Girl, you ain't going to, you better go get them kids in social care, go get them they vaccinations. You know, <laughs> Jakey is bad. But man, hey, if this had been a so-called black couple, this would have been all over the fucking news. You already know it, man. They'd have been running that right alongside the, the, the diddler. Okay, but it says, um, the Indiana State Police, along with two cadaver dogs, descended on the property in Wheatfield where they live. The couple had reportedly been evicted from the property earlier this year. The dogs alerted to three separate locations on the property where investigators uncovered bone fragments. Cops took the fragments to a specialist in Indianapolis for testing to determine if they were from an infant or animal. The bones were determined to be human. Ooh. Distraction, data extraction of Sabella's phone unveiled incriminating text messages between her and Ball. She allegedly texted him shortly after 11 a.m. September 17th. Guess what, baby? Guess what, baby killer? <laughs> Damn. About an hour later. She texted him, "You killed my kids because you are, a, you, you, you are. A, I'm assuming a fucking cunt. You never, you never, you never loved me." The next day, Vile allegedly responded, "Yeah, I know. The fire would be known for what you did." Just people, man. So I'm assuming that she didn't have anything to do with it, but she had to had she had just as much to do with it if she knew about this shit and never fucking said nothing. Sabella. Also reportedly text, you killed our babies. I have their DNA in, in body forever and they will know everything you took me to the doctor in 2017 to prove that I was pregnant. They will know. Okay. Only way she's going to get out of that is, I don't know, they they will have to really uh, uh, prove that she was really super duper abused and never had an opportunity to get away. You know, type of deal. Some damn serious Stockholm Syndrome or some crazy shit. Police also allegedly found a baby center app on her phone that documented the process, the progress of her pregnancy and uploaded key dates to her Google calendar. On Thursday, detectives confronted Vile with the evidence. He admitted Sabella gave birth to a boy in 2018 while he was on his way home. An affidavit said, but when he arrived, he claimed he found Sabella passed out with the child between her legs, not breathing. He said the boy weighed about 10 pounds, 18 inches long. Stephen said he cleaned up to make him look pretty wrapped him in a baby blanket face face exposed and placed him in a box the affidavit said steven said after three days he knew the child wouldn't be coming back to life so he wrapped him completely in a blanket and buried him in the backyard near a shed Vile reportedly told investigators that sometime after the boy's death sabella became pregnant again this time she gave birth to a premature girl in the bathtub while he was at work according to the affidavit he claimed the girl was dead when he got home. He said he he, he buried her next to the boy. <laughs> Damn. The children were buried for about three to five years before he dug them up and burned them in a fire pit, cops wrote. He allegedly sifted through the ashes and, and saw some, some bone fragments. Stephen stated that he kept some of the ashes to make a necklace as a memento, the affidavit said. Man, these people are fucking crazy, bro. Anyway. So who knows? Who knows? I mean, it, and, and he'll probably get off. They'll probably get off. You know, because it, because they wouldn't really have no, no real proof of how the kids died. Now, from him admitting, they said that they um, uh, what uh, I don't man. Uh, anyway, crazy, bro. Only thing they can do is get the information out of this this chick right here. But hey, you as you can see, Esau is weird as hell, man. This person um says the devil has taken control of a lot of people here in America every day. Some far crazy, some far out crazy things happening. Killings happening. Says the devil isn't even trying to hide anymore. But the devil is uh, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He's the physical counterpart of the damn devil on this planet. But let's get this Matthew chapter 24. Let's start at verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the disciples wanted to know 
when Yahweh Shah was going to come. Like, how will we know? You know, what's going to be happening? Right? And we use the, the correct the correct name of the Lord, man, Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Not no damn Jesus, man. When no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. What? They wasn't using no English when the Lord walked the earth. The letter J was invented in 1524. And don't let nobody tell you that it doesn't matter what his name is. You better be finding it out. You know, and that's for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you are the ones that the Lord is turning his world upside down for, because you are the Israelites. You are his chosen people. You are the ones that he made that covenant with. So it's important to know the true name of the father, Yahweh, and the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, true name of the father means he exists, the existing one, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And you can Google it. These people know that the Lord's name wasn't no damn Jesus. And they know full well that he wasn't some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy. Because I'm telling you, that guy, this guy in this picture, all he, like I said, all he got to do is grow grow a little hair, grow his hair down to his shoulders, and he can easily play a Jesus part with no problems, bro. Because that's who they pushed on the world. And so every 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 movie you see about uh, uh, the Lord, it's always some guy that looked just like this guy right here. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what the Lord said, though. This is one of the things that he, t he told the disciples. Verse 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because iniquity shall abound. Now, it's saying, I'm not sure what back road ass town this is. And I'm sure, because you know, all, the, all these um, um, states have, you know, major cities, but they, they have, you know what I'm saying, um, these. You know, these, um, 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 you know, these country back road, old, old dirt road ass places where people live and, and they just pretty much, you know, just live like goddamn hillbillies. And see, Esau is not as complicated as he as he's been trying to portray. You know, he pushes out here that he's just this smart ass man. But in reality, he's the basis of men. When Esau is, you know, Salaki. Esau is not who, you, who who he has portrayed himself to be, man. And everybody is starting to see that. That's why, you know, it, it, it's prophetic. That's how you know we're in the end days because it's prophetic that the man of sin, the son of perdition, he must be revealed. Look at how this man is treating the earth, man. This man has been at war for shit since he's been in power. Especially these Americans. These damn Americans, man, they done been at war for like 300 years straight. Damn near, bro. They're polluting every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the air quality is horrible. The food is all gmo and shit and processed and shit. And no nutrients. And they done that. They got a goddamn pharmacy on every corner. Got everybody all doped up. Not only are, you know, people um, addicted to, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the ingredients that's in these damn foods. But they're addicted to all kinds of um, medicines, man. From fucking NyQuil to... Your regular damn aspirin, man. People taking a the guy, they taking all kinds of medicines. There's people that take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten medicines a day. Bottles, I'm talking about nightstand full of damn um, pill bottles. I don't even understand how they can take all that shit. I guess that's why a lot of them, you know what I'm saying, all they can do is just lay up. <laughs> they just lay back, man. Only time they sit up is, is, is to take their damn pills and a, and a slurp of water behind it. Anyway, though, but you can clearly, this shit is crazy, bro. But like I said, I'm not even sure, like, this is Indiana. They had to have been in some some super duper back ass hills. And 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 had to not have been coming across anybody. Anyway. Let's get one more scripture. Um Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. See, it says without natural affection. You, hey, you, don't, have no, you don't have a loving bone in your damn body doing something like that. Fierce. See that it take a, a fierce person to do something like that. But like I said, had this been so-called black couple, 
Man, this shit would have been plastered all over the news, bro. Verse 4 says, Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. See? Fierce, man. Without natural affection. A lot of people are like that these days. People are not thinking about nothing but them damn selves these days, man. That's it. Lovers of their own selves. Covetous as hell. You know? And people are not doing well these days. Especially these Edomites. These Edomites done fell off real hard, bro. They've always been on that tip. But, you know, as of late, this internet, whoo, it's not doing them well. But, you know, we go ahead and end out, man. You know, the comments, of course, the people, you know, they just acting as if they, they, this is is not possible with them for some reason. Um, yeah, damn, I got a goddamn uh, 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 animal audience. I got birds. I'm talking about literally sitting right here beside me and damn squirrels and shit. <laughs> they just sitting here just listening, I guess. Hey, this person says another couple that deserve to be abandoned on an island with nothing. That is what they should do with the with the baby killers. Leave them out in the middle of nowhere with nothing. I said, just take the newborns to the nearest fire station and hand them over if you don't want them. These people are monsters. It sounds like they got their jollies out of killing babies. Yeah, boy. It says, it's all about the he. What about her? How could a mother be so willing to allow this to happen to her babies? Where is she in the picture? Where's her accountability? Well, I was saying the same thing, you know, unless she's just, she was at a, a point where she she obviously had a cell phone. She's texting. Not sure what they, you know, they did say it was like, you know, five or so years ago. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? That would have, you know, maybe, you know, he probably had her ass hemmed up. That's the only thing that I could say, you know, the only reason why, you know, but somebody would have had to have known that. Like, I don't know. You know, I get it. They could have hid the shit, you know what I'm saying, and whatever, but. <laughs> this person says his parents had to have been inbred. Yo, they probably inbred. Damn. Anyway, man, yeah, we'll end out there, man, hey. This, hey, this is the man that, this right here is the man that owned us. This right here is the man that still owns us. Salakia, let me, let me correct that. These people are over us, man. They, they're, they're ruling over us. These are the people that are actually ruling over the children of Israel, man. So, again, and you're about to see the real cruelty of these people. Real That real cruel hatred is about to um come out of these people, man. It's already forming. Or... It has always been there. They just, you know, you know, they've been able to or, you know, just by the spirit of the Lord, you know, they've been able to kind of lay back on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's coming to a point where you're about to see full fledged hatred out of these people, like straight up, because these people don't like themselves. They don't even like, you know, a matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about that. Let me see. Um, I'll get one more if I can find it. Uh. I think is it Sarah? Let me try to. Uh, is it? Ah, oh, Salakia. Might not be it. Um, I may not be able to find it, but. Or is it 14 and 5? Salakia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ecclesiasticus 14 and 5, also known as the book of Sirach. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his good. So this man is evil to himself. He's evil toward towards the you know the um you know his own children, man, his own offspring. So what 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 makes you think that you know what I'm saying he will be good to you? And like I said again, man, you you already know, had this been a story, and it, it, it was two so-called black people. A man and a woman, and they said that they killed two babies. 
burned them in a fire pit and made necklaces out of their bones and shit. You already know what it is. Come on, man. You wouldn't have heard the last of that. You wouldn't have heard the last of that, bro. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yasha'Allah and the Bible Ball.